Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! This is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3! Last time, we have some weird pig-looking guys carpet bomb the forest and set it on fire, and in this episode, we're gonna try and rescue Lighter and Fuel- or, well, Fuel from Lighter's house, which is currently on fire, like everything else. Oh, okay, sure. Let's ram into it! Because we're badass like that. A flying mouse. Man, that thing looks horrific. Just look at this thing's eyes. That flying mouse has seen some shit. Anyway, flying mice can do a combination attack, which hits you twice, so you gotta watch out for that. If your HP starts getting a little low, like an OW! Mine is, you might want to consider healing up. Alternatively, you could consider toughening up, in order to reduce the amount of damage that stupid mouse does to you. Which I think I will do right now. Haha! -ha. I don't know what part of his body he's stiffening up, and I don't want to know. There we go, we took a little less damage there. I don't think it's quite a one-to-one -one damage correspondence, but it's somewhere around there. Ooh, a level! Awesome. Um, we're getting really low on HP, so I'm gonna shove my last nut cookie right into my face and hope I don't get killed doing this. I probably should have taken more, but that's fine. You gotta be... Oh, right. We could dash into this to knock it away. Apparently I am a fighter man. Or fireman. Well, and a fighter man. And now Fuel's joining our party. walk out. Oh. Hmm. That could be bad. Eh, we'll be fine. Nuts. Well, there goes the house. But at least we're alive. Well, yeah, that's what I just said. Minus the pitch black and covered in soot the, the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should probably head back even though we're all pitch black and covered in soot. Let's see. Just over this way. Um, I'm gonna fight this guy off screen. So apparently, in battle, uh, fuel will cheer you on and lend your support, which will heal you a little bit, which is actually really, really nice. I didn't know that. Apparently he also throws stones. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics all over again. Uh, not that way. I'm trying to be a little careful ow, about where I run so that I don't accidentally run straight into the fire and the flames. There we go. Should be pretty safe now. I'm gonna go rest up in the hot springs to show off something else that this game really takes into account when it comes to detail. So you recall that earlier our body was pitch black and covered in soot. You don't actually have to move around. But when you climb out of the hot spring, from the head below, you're actually fine, because, you know, you wash it all off inside of the hot spring. Pretty nice attention to detail, <laughs> although it's a little silly seeing our faces pitch black and covered in soot and, like, literally nothing else. <laughs> huh, okay. I love how everyone says exactly that they're pitch black and covered in soot. Not like you're covered in soot or covered in. No, it's specifically 
pitch black and covered in soot. I love how they're just making fun of the whole explanation sort of a deal. If that didn't make sense, I can explain it again. <laughs> uh. It's like a running gag! Anyway, let's go and chat up uh, Lighter and make sure he knows that fuel's fine. That's not how that works. Just saying. I love the whole friendship thing they've got going on among the villagers. Wow. Literally on cue, it just starts pouring rain. And the soot washes away. So yeah, you won't stay pitch black and covered in soot forever. Is it typical for it to start raining during a forest fire, or is it just luck? I, I don't know, I've never been in an area with frequent forest fires, so... I've only been to California once, and it was not during the dry season. I lived in Florida, there's no forest fires there because it rains at the drop of the hat. It's a little bit like living in Britain, but Florida is a lot shittier. Well, that's nice. Oh, you're not gonna say anything? I like the name, though, Tessie. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, the pig-like mask people. Pig bastards. I wonder what they wanted by uh, carpet bombing the forest. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they would do something so reckless. Anyway, we've got a save frog in here should you want to save. I don't particularly feel like saving right now. We also got a bed here that we can rest up in, and an antidote. Had we gotten poisoned, that would have been really useful, but I don't think there was anything we ran into that could poison us. Ha uh ha! -huh. Right. Uh, I want to talk to. Move! There we go. Oh, hey. Oh, it's Isaac. So were you up in Soul Sanctum, or what? Oh wait, no, sorry, I'm wrong, Isaac. He's nowhere near as cool as Isaac from Golden Sun. Although he does got that lumberjack thing going for him. No, I haven't seen them all day.
Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. Drago's aren't. Oh. Well, okay, that doesn't sound too good. Hmm. Better go check on him. Oh, the bird's here. Oh, uh, okay, I guess we're gonna read the whole thing again, even though we've already seen this before. Well, I suppose that's fine and dandy. I don't see why they feel the need to make us read through this twice, but... Eh. I gotta say, I always did kind of like the rain, from like an aesthetic point of view, you know, when you have the rain just pattering on the roof, it makes it really easy to relax and sleep. Maybe not so much thunderstorms. Thunderstorms freak me out sometimes. Although, maybe they only freak me out now, because in Breath of the Wild, every time I get into a thunderstorm, it's like, shit, I gotta drop every metal thing I have on me or risk getting wrecked. But, uh, uh whatever. Breath of the Wild was a lot of fun. I'm gonna miss that game. I've already beaten it, by the way, in case you were curious. Er, well, I didn't 100% it, but I did beat the storyline. What, what little storyline there is. And he's just gonna keep reading the letter over and over again. Yeah, they're still gone. Is it actually possible to get a cold in the rain from the rain? makes you have a sense of how close this village is to where they're willing to like all get together and help one family get back like to safety I don't know maybe it's common in small villages for them to be like this but uh, I live in a college town so I wouldn't know yes take the pupper with us doggo joined our party or, well, Boney joined our party. And he's an actual controllable party member, too, by the way. Um. So, yeah, there you go. He's got a collar and everything. Uh, his special thing is to sniff for enemy weaknesses. Which. Eh. Is not as useful, especially if you have a guide that tells you exactly what the enemy's weaknesses are, so. Whatever. He's fast, though. He's really, really fast, which makes him a very good item user should you wish to use him for that purpose. Um, get back here! I'll head you off at the pass. There we go. Nuts. I wonder if we can do the secret thing. I want to see if we can do the secret thing. There's a special secret thing that you can do up here, and I want to see if we can do it right now. Game doesn't seem to stop me. Haha! -ha, yes! Behind this house, there will always be a thunder bomb for you to pick up, and it refreshes itself periodically. I think you just have to leave the area and come back. Um, and this works for pretty much the entirety of the game. So, free thunder bombs, you could throw them and they'll do damage to all enemies. It's really, really handy. Not that I'm gonna go back and forth and pick more up, but it's there. Um, we also picked up some peculiar cheese. Um, basically the way that works is that it restores more HP if the person who eats it likes cheese. Um, which as far as I know is everyone except for Boney. Right, yeah, you're gonna help us out by being drunk. Obviously. Got anything to say, Letter? No? just gonna readjust your glasses. Oh, 
Oh hey, who's this guy? I don't recall meeting him before. Yeah, really. I was just commenting on as much. Everyone's so willing to just drop everything and look for you now and the kids. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, Wes. I'm sure it'll stop eventually. You know, whenever the plot demands that it stops raining, of course. And we've still got Mr. Baddies. But now we've got two party members, so yeah, there's the sniff command. I'm pretty much never going to use it. Enemies are a lot easier to take down when you have two party members, I'll tell you what. Oh, but the thing about Boney is that his HP is actually rather low, so you want to watch out for that. See, I think we can get into Isaac's house now. Oh. Thank you! And in here we get what basically amounts to an infinite supply of antidotes if you should particularly care to get more. They're only really useful for healing uh, poison mid-battle. And down here... A nut! I think that just heals a small amount of HP, and that's about it. Batman! I mean, what else am I supposed to think upon hearing that? I've commented on this yet, but the psychedelic backgrounds for battle, I don't know if they're weird or cool. I'm gonna lean towards saying they're both weird and cool. We've got a new enemy here, a baked yam monster. It's basically just a more durable yam monster, as you can see. They have a lot more HP than their counterparts. When they vent an intense burst of steam, I think that means that they're about to do something really, um, potent. But they do drop big DMs, which heal for a lot of HP, so that's really nice. Wow. Rude. I have antidotes. Sorry if I'm scrolling the text a little too fast, by the way. And here we've got another new enemy, Mighty Bitey Snake. As she was just saying, these guys can poison you, so you want to be careful. Fortunately, we took them down pretty fast. It's a good idea to fight just about every monster you come across. Good for experience. I should be able to minimize how much grinding I have to do in this game. I won't be able to eliminate it entirely, but I should be able to minimize it at the very least. Um, Boney is looking a little low on HP there. Yeah, he's about half. Yeah, let's heal him up. Reggie! Reggie fils -Aimé? Yeah, basically. Hey, Reggie! Where's Mother 3? No? No, you're not going for that reference? Okay. Well, neither is Nintendo, so... It is rather unfortunate that they refuse to localize this game. I don't remember what the reasons are behind them refusing to do so. I, there were... There's a lot of them, probably. We're just gonna have to remain content with the fan translation, which is honestly one of the best fan translations I've seen of any video game, not just this particular one. They did a really good job with the translation for this game. Oh, 
look, it's Biff again. Hello! Oh, I already made that reference. What are you looking at, butthead? Man, they're making so much emphasis on you need antidotes, and I have yet to be poisoned. Which means, of course, that I'm about to be poisoned instantaneously. Holy! 17 damage! Oh yeah, another really nice thing about the HP scrolling thing, if you take a lot of damage and then the battle ends before all of that damage gets scrolled, you'll stop the scroll right where you are and you'll have that HP for the next fight, which is really nice. I mean, I guess. Uh oh. Looks like the uh, yeah, mighty bitey snake's rushing in to help. Um. Give him mine famous sphing. And attack the bitey bitey snake. Mighty bitey snake. There we go. Uh, you have. You don't have anything good on you. And you can guard. You see how much uh, slower your HP scrolls when you're guarding? Yeah, that's really, really handy. That scary face there will just decrease your offense. Nothing to worry about. Man, we're getting a lot of levels. The big DM monsters are pretty much the best enemy here to fight, just because they drop big DMs, which heal for a lot of HP, um, and they're pretty good for experience, too. Usually they're easy to back attack, but it seems that I'm having a little trouble with this one. Yeah. I'm sure the more rhythmically inclined of you viewers could probably time all of the songs perfectly. But I am not so rhythmically inclined. Man, the backgrounds are so psychedelic. I guess I've gotten so used to it by now I don't think it's weird anymore, but it is kind of weird. Um, probably if there's been no response. Oh, a mini mini charm! Um, let's see. Let's pass off the mini mini charm to Flint. I can't do that because he has too much shit. Let's pass that off to Boney. Stop pressing that button. And let's hand off the mini mini charm to Flint menu and slap that crap on right now here we go hey what do y'all gotta say hmm there's claw marks everywhere Whatever did this must be mighty strong. Ha! Wait, aren't you? Are you saying you're not human? Oh, true. Alright gang, split up and look for clues. Huh. <laughs> He's got fire in them there, veins. So I guess they're gonna move the tree themselves. Hmm. Oh, what do these guys gotta say? Ha! 
Those two are like a comedy duo, basically. Well, literally. Hmm. Let's make a save. Let's see what's uh, all the hubbub is going on at the bottom of the cliff. Good, bad vibes. Right. Oh, I suppose the dragon would be big enough to make those kinds of marks. Hmm. Oh, true. Something suspicious is going on here. I'm sure it's nothing to worry. Hmm? What is it, boy? Did little Timmy fall down the well? Oh, he's such a cute dog. Who's a good boy? He seems to have noticed something. Over where? It's off screen, I can't see it. That doesn't look good. Wow. Rude. I intend to try. Oh wait, it's raining. You can't climb when it's raining. You just slip right off. Your son's name is... Insert name here! Duster. We're going with Duster. Why do you carry around your son's sock with you? <laughs> uh. Go get him, doggo! That's orange, not yellow. I'm gonna be a little quiet for this part. I love that track so much. Ah, oh, so dramatic. I love it. Wall staple technique.
Oh, literal wall staples. How does that work? Eh, you got me there, viewers. You know what? If it works, it works. We have a way up there now. I'll just pretend this makes sense. Oh, it stopped raining. Oh, sure. And now, Duster's joined us! Duster's another controllable party member. Um, he's quite fast. I don't think he's quite as fast as Boney is, but he's also a lot more powerful. And like Flint, he has no PP. Black really can't be good. Nuts. Um, let's see what's in this cave. Moles. Moles are in this cave. A mischievous mole. A mischievous mole! How did I get such a high combo? Mischievous moles with mysterious musical um music. Haha! -ha! I managed to tech that pretty well. I love how Duster's got this whole bass guitar riff going for his attacks. I didn't mention that before, but everyone has a sort of, like, musical thing with their attacks. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. Duster's got that rock and bass guitar going on for him. Flint's got that, uh, I don't know, electric guitar. And then Boney just growls. Musical barking? Yeah, I don't know. That's the best I've got. And some nut bread. Just a couple healing items. Probably, uh, you could go in there just to level grind because this next fight is, well, difficult to say the least. In any case, I would recommend saving your game right about now. Just saying. Uh, it would be a really good idea to do so. Because of what's going to happen in the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3. See you guys then. You should probably bring the tissues for next time. <laughs>